I'm Mike St. Clair and welcome to the Screen Freak Rewind. In today's Magic Reveal tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to perform an amazing impromptu dollar bill suspension. This is a really cool effect, super easy to perform, and best of all, there are no special gimmicks to go out and buy or build. You can start practicing and performing right after watching the video. Now as an added bonus, the dollar bill can even be borrowed. Anytime you can borrow an object for an effect, do it because it's going to add that much more to the effect and it's going to be a more personal experience for the spectator because now they have something invested in your trick. Now if you guys are ready, let's check it out. Okay guys, here we have a dollar bill that we've borrowed from an invisible spectator. If we take the bill and crease it down the middle like so, now watch. And there it is guys, that's the suspension. Are you guys ready to learn how that was done? Perfect. I'm going to show you right now. Okay guys, for this trick, you're going to need a dollar bill or any denomination will work. This can be borrowed and you're going to need a quarter. Now to start this trick off, there's a little preparation. We're going to go ahead and put the bill away as if we haven't got it from the spectator yet. Now we're going to put the coin in our right pants pocket. Now if you're doing the trick, if you're doing the suspension with your left hand, you want to put it in your left pocket. We're going to walk up to the spectator. We're going to reach into our pockets with both hands as if we're searching for a bill or something. And we're going to bring both hands out at the same time and secretly finger palm the coin in your right hand or left hand, whichever hand you're using. And a finger palm is a simple set the coin right there at your at your middle knuckle there and simply bend your fingers behind it and you can hold this by your side fairly nonchalantly and, and no one's going to notice it. So from this point we've, we secretly have our coin in our hand. Remember reaching both hands in at the same time pulling both hands out at the same time. We're going to ask for a bill. Does anyone have a dollar bill, a five dollar bill, a hundred dollar bill? Whatever you want to say. It's, it's completely up to you. And a spectator is going to hand you a bill you're going to take the bill and you're going to show it cleanly on both sides. Now, there are a couple ways to get into the trick. The first way is probably the easiest, which I recommend starting off with. You're going to simply talk to the spectator or talk to the spectators. And as you're doing that, they're going to be paying attention to your face. You're simply going to take the coin and slip it behind the bill so it's in the upper right-hand corner. So as you're talking, move the bill out of sight for a second, slip the coin right behind it. Now the second way to get into this is going from our finger palm position. We're actually going to take our thumb and press down on the coin right at that knuckle. And you see how it opens up a little gap? Now with that gap, if we take our fingers and close them together so they can't see it, if our fingers are open, they're going to see the coin and it's not going to, it's not going to be a very good trick at all. But holding the bill with our opposite hand right in the middle we're going to take this coin with the little gap we provided and we're just simply going to slip it right behind the bill now you want to make sure to do this in the middle of the bill you don't want to do it at the top or the bottom because it'll look funny if one hand is in the middle and the other hand is at the top so from here making sure to keep all of our fingers closed we're simply going to press in with our thumb and we're going to slide the coin right behind the bill and we're going to take our thumb and push it up to the top, just like that. Now, whichever way you decide is fine, but we're at this point where we have the coin right behind the bill. Now, from here, we're going to take our middle fingers, put it on the bottom of the bill, holding the coin with our thumb, and we're going to take our index finger and fold it over and grasp it with our thumb and our middle finger. So the coin is stuck right in the bill just like that. Now you want to make sure the crease is facing your spectator because if it's not then they're going to see the coin and it's going to ruin the illusion. 
So from here, we're going to take our fingers and we're going to crease the bill. Now you don't want to start where the coin is. You want to start at the end of the bill and crease all the way down. If you start at just the coin, it's going to look suspicious. So from here, we have the coin in the bill. We've creased it just like that. Now we're going to take our index fingers and our middle fingers and clip the bill again, making sure to hold that coin in place. We're going to put our thumbs underneath and we're going to grab with our index finger and our thumb. Now from here, we're going to lift up our index finger of the coin side, lift up the index finger of the other side, and we're simply going to slowly lower our hand. Now the bill you're using, make sure it's a fairly new bill. It's not all crinkled up, otherwise it'll go limp on you. Now the last thing you want is your bill going limp in a situation like this. So we're going to lift our fingers up and we're going to let our counterweight hold the bill in place. Now from here you can do whatever you want. You can go around the bill as if there's nothing holding it up. You can even rotate it to the front or rotate it to the back, being very careful not to drop that coin. Now from this point, we're going to take our thumb, we're going to reach into the middle of the bill, and we're going to go under placing our middle finger and our thumb right under the coin so it doesn't fall out. We're going to open the bill and grab the coin with our thumb just like that. We're going to show the bill, pass it out to the spectator, and to end clean, they're focusing on the bill. You simply drop the coin in your pocket, and there you are. You're done. Suspension has happened, and you're completely clean. Now I'm going to show you guys a reverse angle so you can see what it looks like from your perspective. Okay, guys, here we have our bill. From this point, we already have our coin in finger palm position. Now this is what finger palm is going to look like. It's very simple and you can leave your hand loose, just hang it by your side just like this. Nobody's going to see the coin. This is a really good coin concealment and it, I use it all the time. So it's something you definitely want to learn. Now the coin is by your side. Now the first method that I showed, you're simply going to be talking to the spectator and you're just going to bring the coin and stick it right behind the bill. Take the, the bill out of view if you have to, whatever you need to do to get the coin back there. Now the second method that I show, we're going to put the coin just like this and we're going to press our thumb down and give it a little bit of a gap, making sure to keep our fingers closed. And from here, we're just going to slide it right behind the bill, right in the middle and then up to the top. Now from this point, we're going to fold the bill with our middle finger and our index finger on top. We're going to grab with our thumb and then we're going to crease the bill from one side all the way to the other just like that and our coin is right there in the bill you want to keep it from going over the edge because you may be able to see that you just want it just on the inside of the bill just like that maybe to the edge of the white line there so from this point we're going to go behind the bill or we're going to use our little gap technique here and slide it right behind, right in the middle and move it to the top. We're going to fold the bill and once again give it a crease from one side to the other. Now this is it. You're set up for the trick. It's going to go on your thumb just like that. Now you're going to want to practice a little bit to see exactly where the coin has to be on your thumb in order to hold it in place. But as you can see just like that there it is there's the suspension and that's all it is to it now from here again you can run your hand around it showing that there's nothing holding it up you can push it forward being careful not to drop the coin pull it back now from here you're gonna take your thumb right on the inside you're gonna bring your middle finger down so you hold that coin in place so you don't drop it you're going to open it up, reach in behind with your thumb, snap the bill a couple times, you're going to slide the coin away, pass out the bill, your hand's going to go to your side, and you're going to drop it into the pocket. Now one more time, from here, we've got the coin behind the bill, simply going to fold it, crease from one side to the other, clip, rotate over, coin right there, 
We're going to open our fingers. We're going to do the suspension. Move the bill if we want to. We're going to grab the bill with our thumb in the middle. Our middle finger is going to come up underneath the coin. Just like that. Holding it with the thumb and the, the middle finger. We're going to open it. Reach behind with the thumb. Grab the coin. Snap the bill. Slide the coin away. Pass the bill out for inspection. Slip the coin into the pocket. And that's it. You're done. And you're clean. Now that is the bill suspension reveal. Well, that's the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you'll be practicing this and performing it on your next outing. I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to leave a comment, share these videos, and subscribe for more magic and magic revealed. Thanks for being awesome. See you guys next time.